Hey, it's good to be back. Uh, it's been a while since we put out any videos. Uh, we're back with you uh, now with a, a 67 Mustang. The, uh, we're going to do a minor restoration on this car. Uh, nothing serious. Uh, it needs the brakes all the way around. Uh, it needs some steering work. The uh, tie rod ends, and, uh, ball joints, uh, shock absorbers, just some basic basic maintenance items basically cars in basic overall good condition we're gonna uh, we're gonna give you a walk around let you look at the car and uh, okay we've got a 1967 Mustang it's got a the old 200 straight six with a three-speed standard on the floor yeah the old car's in pretty good shape it's in uh, it's been painted probably once the uh, overall condition of the car I would say is in serviceable drivable condition is fair got uh, some brake issues of course we've got uh, some upholstery issues as you can see but the uh, hopefully have an upholstery man coming by tomorrow and uh, take a look see what parts he needs to order put her back in shape got the dash is pretty well clapped out uh, pad padding that is the uh, gauges surprisingly work uh, for the most part the uh, can't see it. I need to get more light in here, but the uh, the headliner is in actually in excellent condition. The uh, top edge of the back seat's pretty much roached out. See, it's pretty gone. The uh, door panels have a few little items that need to be attended to. The vinyl inserts, uh, after nearly 50 years, are well, of course they're dry rotten. Okay, the uh, very little rust. Got some rust in the uh, drip rail channels and. Uh, Few little places around the vehicle there's some rust starting to show up but uh, it should be okay this car is going to be kept in a garage out of the out of the weather once it's uh we get it back going the uh, floorboards got to be replaced we've got uh, serious issues with the floorboard on the passenger side and I'm pretty sure that it's the, the cow bucket is rusted out like most of these Mustangs are and uh, my time and his budget probably just just can't handle it right now. Uh, maybe later on that'll be something we can do. Let's get in here and look at these floorboards. What's uh, what's left of them, which is not much. You what? I'm gonna pause and get a light. Okay, we've got a little light in here now. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. The uh, passenger floorboard is gone completely. There's just nothing left. So. I think it's good up to the seat base mount. It's even showing some pretty good rust. Um, you might be able to piece patch that back together without having to replace it. It's pretty extensive to have to replace that too. But, um, see if I can get a shot of the headliner. Headliner's in good condition. Uh, checking most of these headliners you see are uh, either sagging or torn or something's wrong with it. They get missing a light cover, but that's pretty much all that's needed to be replaced there. The, uh, you can see those seats, carpet's worn out. But it's got uh, under dash air. We're going to try to make it work. The, uh, I'll move my camera up here to the front and we'll crank it up, let you listen to it. I'll give you a brief overview of that too. Well, when she came here, she had a small, uh, had a miss, number three. Uh, went to checking it out, pulled the number three plug, plug it carboned up on it, put clean the plug, put it back in, and uh, it went to running. Had the carburetor apart, uh, adjusted and tuned on the carburetor, and uh, runs really well. We've got a small exhaust leak we're going to have to tend to, and a uh, valve cover gasket is also going to have to be replaced, but overall she runs really well.
Well, we've done the uh, done your overview here. You can see what we're working with. The uh, uh, parts have been ordered. We started getting some of the stuff in. We uh, I like to use Rock Auto. They've always provided good service, good parts, quality name brands, and a very reasonable price. So Rock Auto is my choice for parts. And uh, as you can see, <coughs> we have quite a list over here. We have a few boxes already starting to come in. Ball joints, little radiator hoses, uh, motor mounts, brake parts, wheel cylinders, wheel seals, turn signal switches, dimmer switches, brake rotor, uh, valve cover gasket, and we've got several more items still left to come in. So when all those come in, we're going to get to get to getting and start putting some parts back on this old car. Uh, as you can see, I've already started tearing down the uh, front brakes, get an idea make a parts list, get the front and rears torn down. A lot of this stuff looks like it's still good, but uh, when you're dealing with brake parts, you don't want to uh, think parts are good, you want to know they're good. So we're uh, not going to take a chance and get out there and blow a wheel cylinder out after we do all this work and then have a problem, especially since wheel cylinders are about 5 or $6 a piece. So, there's your overview. Take a walk around the back while I've got some good light in here. Just take a look. Got some rust on the bumpers. But, uh, found the bumpers at Rock Auto, $100 a piece. So, eventually, maybe he'll be able to, to get them. We'll put them on and make the old car shine like new. There we go. Good picture down the side. All right, guys. More to come.